Hello! Today's tutorial is for Portrait Pro 15 and today the main focus will be just on eyes. And the reason is one of the videos I did that showed a full face enhancement with makeup, there was hair over her eye in the picture which I've mentioned pictures like that are hard to make the eyes accurate. So this time I'm using a picture where there's no hair over the person's face, the subject. Alright, open up Portrait Pro 15, click click, you know I like click click by now, open image, and this face I will use because this is a very clear subject. There's no hair over her eyes, no shadows from a hat, um, great picture to work with, very clear. Alright, if you look at your lines here, your blue lines, they're pretty accurate, close enough, nothing to change. Um, hit female, let it load up there. All right, and for this purpose, we're going to zoom in on her eyes because I'm not going to change much else. This is just basically an eye enhancement tutorial. So we're going to go to the view that says view after only. Okay, we don't need to see the uh, pre the uh, original view. All right, there's the girl's face. Now, because we want to zoom in on her eyes, we need to get as close as possible to make her eyes as accurately enhanced as we can. So, as I've showed you before, scroll up here, hit zoom, and you see that? You can zoom pretty close. So you want both of her eyes completely in frame. So you zoom here. Now, you can grab your crosshairs and move your subject exactly where you want it so you can see everything. All right? That's pretty good. All right. Beautiful eyes. And I'm not here to make a determination as to what color is more beautiful. Those are gorgeous. But I'm going to make her eyes dark brown to show you how powerful this program is and how accurate you can do things with eyes. Okay? So the first thing I want to do, and again, it may be extreme, but it's just for the purposes of showing you the program, the contrast. So hit face sculpt. And you see where it says eyes? Um, and again, face sculpt was the gray arrow drop down. Eyes. You can make eyes that, you know, you move them to the left and right a little bit. Not much to do there. Um, eyes widening. Just for the hell of it, let's make our eyes bigger. Now, as you can see, if you take eye widening and move it all the way to the left at minus 100, it gives a squinty look, which is not unnatural. Some people do have small squinty eyes, but let's see how they look at the other side. That's at 100. Sometimes when you open the eyes up big, the upper, um, the ridge of the eye distorts a little bit or it almost looks uneven. See? So we're going to leave that, make them a tiny bit bigger. Ah, uh, it's pretty good. That's at 57. All right, done with that. Now, close out your box here. I don't like these boxes open because you don't have much of a work area to use your portrait sliders, and they get in my way, and I can't find anything. So, face sculpt controls close by clicking your gray arrow again. Okay, here's some fun stuff. Let's go to makeup controls. And we're only going to do eyes, so let's do mascara and make some crazy mascara. Okay? Take your mascara slider, slide it all the way to the right to 100. And now let's drop down the application box with our little gray arrow here and put thick application. And that looks crazy, but it'll give you an idea. Now, you can see where her new eyelashes look crazy and they're way up at the top of her eyes and that's wacky. So you grab the slider under mascara that says nudge upper lash and see what you can do look at that so we've taken these wacky eyelashes and moved them and placed them properly on her eyes that's about as far as it go it goes so I have it at minus 100 now nudge lower lashes same thing on the lowers and as you can see it does move the top ones a little bit when you nudge lower lashes but it's not enough to make it look weird so you can do that pull it up a little bit Okay, put it right in line with the uh, natural lashes in the picture. All right, all right, so you're done with the lashes there. Scroll down. Oh, and you can shine lashes like this. Nothing drastic. Um, you can make them a little softer so they don't look as false, but we're going to leave that alone for now. Stick some eyeshadow in there a little bit. All right, what else can we do with eyes here? 
Uh, you can put eyeliner. Eyeliner. All different things here. But right now, I really want to focus on her pupils because that's very difficult to figure out sometimes. I had a time trying to figure it out, but, you know, I had to play with it for a while, and I got it pretty good. So, for eyes, the color now, not makeup. You can close out your box if you want to. For your makeup controls, I didn't do it, but... Okay, drop down your box with your gray arrow that says eye controls. See where it says white eyes? I always use white eyes a little. And I usually put that at 100 because it doesn't do much. It gives a subtle um, whiteness to the uh, white area of the eye. Clean eyes. That kind of evens it out because if you noticed, even when I did white eyes, there's still gray flecks in her eyes. It's natural. We all have them, but you know. If you want to photo enhance somebody, you might as well go ass out. All right. So let's do clean eyes. Not too much. I'll put that at about mm, 75. Okay. Scroll down. Oops. I lost my control. All right. So we're back in our eye controls now. Color. This is important. And again, I'm going to turn her eyes brown. I said gonna again. Because... Um, I want you to get the full effect of how accurate this can be. All right. Uh, if you wanted to change eye color, you could hit change eye color, and you can take these sliders and move them around wherever you want. Yeah. See? Those are subtle changes, though. We want a harsher change. So what we're gonna do is add contact lens. Drop it down, and we're gonna make this girl's eyes brown. Click brown. Now, looks pretty good, but if you look really, really close, you'll notice the contact lenses didn't quite lay right. I've won contacts myself, and normally they do lay like that on your eyes, but we're trying to do photo perfection here, so let's see if we can fix that a little bit. All right, so there's her brown contacts. See where it says contact lens opacity? You can move that around if you want to, but if you move it too far, it makes it look back to the original color, or it looks bizarre. All right, so you want to leave that where it is, I guess, or you can make it a little dark. All right, see where it says contact lens? Well, it's kind of say it says well, it says S C A L, but it's contact lens scale. Um, look at that. See now what you can do because you don't want her to look like she has on contacts. Slide contact lens scale. Wait, let me move this out of the way a little bit so we can see the words. Fix our eyes a little so we can see. All right, contact lens scale. See what you can do? You just slide that around. Make it match exactly to the edge of our eye. If it's a little bit in, so be it. But see that? Totally weird. Here, too much. In the middle, too much. So you fumble around with it until you get it where you want it. I'm going to put it right at the almost to the complete edge of her eye. All right. There you can add eyelid if you want, but I'm not going to do that today. All right. Now, the only thing I see funny with her eyes, if you look up top here, and I'm going to zoom in real close on one eye so you can see what I mean. I mean, most likely if you enhance a picture, nobody's going to look at it this hard. But if you notice a tiny line of her new brown pupil is in her eyelash. That's one of the problems I have is getting the eyes exactly right. Now, would anybody probably notice this? Notice it if they glanced at your picture enhancement? Probably not, but I see it. So let's see if we can figure out how to get that brown of her new pupil color out of her eyelash. So the only thing I can think of to do for that, we did scale. Add eyelid. Could that move anything? Uh, no, that just does eyelids. Let's go back up here. Uh, uh, well, let's close out eye controls, get that out of the way. What if we go back to makeup controls, right? And see if we move the mascara. Does that get the brownness out of her eyelash? No, it does not. Softness? Nah, that's weird too. Those are some long eyelashes. Sheesh. All right. How about nudge upper lash? Oh, now you can see how crazy it looks. See? All right. 
Nudge up or laugh. Does that help? No. Okay, so there's still some flecks of brown within her eyelash and a little bit over the top line of her eye. And zoomed in, we can see that. But as I said, nobody would probably notice an imperfection in your photo enhancement. Um, and I'm trying to figure out now, how do you fix that problem? Because I had it with my last um, enhancement I did. And that was the one where somebody mentioned that the girl's hair was over her eye. And part of her eyelash was over her hair. And up close, that's really weird. So, all right, what else can we do? So we've tried to fool around with mascara. Shine didn't help. Nudging the lashes didn't help. Uh, what else can we do? Lower eyeshadow, eyeliner. Now, what if we were to put some eyeliner on her upper eye, on that like line or ridge that curves around up top? Maybe that will cover up the weird thing with the um, eyelashes and the pupil. All right, so that didn't do much. As you can see, it added some shadow, shadowiness, is that a word? It added some shadow to her lid, but we don't want that. So we still have the same problem. Let's try upper application, cold. Thick cat eye. Uh, no. Cold. Simple liquid line. Let's try a simple liquid line and see what happens. Now, upper line opacity. No. See, that looks crazy and it's still up too high. And I don't think this um, liner application has a nudge feature, does it? No. So, hmm. All right, let's get that out of there. Hit undo. All right, hit undo. Undo. All right. So this is a problem, as you can see. This has happened to me twice now. I can't get her pupil out of her eyelashes. And if there's a way to do it, please feel free to enlighten me because I'm learning this just like you are. Um, eyebrow, pencil, bronzer. All right, so I don't really see much we can do. Let's go to... Eye controls again. Let's see. I don't see anything that does that. So let's go back to change the, the eye color area and go back to our contact lenses and see if we adjust contact lens size, does that get that brown out of her eyelash? Let's see. Opacity? Nope. That's a weird color. Okay, let's put them back brown for contrast. All right. Um, let's go back to contact lens scale. See, now, if you were to pull this down all the way to minus 100, it doesn't look right. It's unnatural. If you push it all the way up to 100, that's what kind of pushes it big over the pupil and more up into her eyelashes. So let's do it really slow and really zoom in. So let's zoom here with our zoom in thing. Let's get right on this one eye so we can see. Now, what happens when we do contact lens scale? Does it pull it down? No. See, it pulls it down and in. All right, so I'm going to put it back pretty much where it was. So this is my dilemma here. I don't see anything in here that fixes that problem. That kind of blends the pupil perfectly and there's no such thing as perfection I know that so anybody who has an answer for me if anybody from the company sees this because I think I did share one of my tutorials with them so maybe I can post it on their Facebook page and they can tell me if there's a way you can fix this I guess like a color bleeding problem where your eye color is into your eyelash so let's zoom our picture back out and you can zoom or you can hit fit face whatever let's hit face now, as you can see, even when this picture is smaller, a good eye can see that there's something not quite right, that her brown of her pupils is over her eyelash. Let's zoom out more. See? It's ever so slight. Like I said, I don't think anybody would notice that unless they're really nitpicky. All right. But, yeah, it's still there. So maybe I'll... Um, 
put this onto the company's Facebook page and see if they can tell me a way to stop that bleeding. Um, and it's not too likely you take a person with bright gray eyes and turn their eyes into a dark brown. But this is just for effect to show you exactly how the program works. So that's it for now. If you have any ideas on how we can stop this problem when we change eye color, let me know. And I'll come back and let you know if I find out anything from the company or if maybe you can't make an eye color change that's so harsh. Okay? That's it for now. Bye. There's a thin line between There's a thin reality line. and psychosis. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>